Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I'm going to be filming a plan with me and my Erin Condren vertical life planner. And the kit I'm going to be using is this Sticky Essentials kit. It is stunning. Look at that foil. It's her full kit. It's this, I forget, forget what she calls it, but she's released it in a couple different versions. Um, I had used one earlier this summer and at the time I was like, oh, this was definitely a fall kit. Um, but then I bought, rebought this um, foiled version of the kit, which is amazing. Um, and I just love the like twinkle lights effect. It's so perfect. Um, for this week because it's actually my wedding anniversary. It's our third wedding anniversary on Wednesday and these are colors that my husband really loves. He loves like burgundy and olives and in general he just really likes fall too. So I thought this kit was perfect for that because it kind of has like um, a love-ish theme. I don't know with all the roses and everything and it feels very like beginning of fall to me because twinkle lights feel very summer to me but then of course all these florals and all of the um, like woods and stuff feels very fall. So I thought this was perfect for our anniversary week since it's like definitely like it's, it's September 1st when I'm filming this which means like fall has begun in my mind. Um, but I realize that's not the case for everybody. I think I'm going to go through and I think I'm going to use this kit comes with amazing. Let me show you glitter headers that already have a foil confetti overlay on them which is amazing so debating which colors i want to use i think i'm going to use the three colorful ones because this one we already have a lot of brown in this spread so um and i don't i was debating bringing in a foiled header but honestly these glitter headers are so amazing that it's like why not use them um and i'm going to probably stagger the glitter headers around and i don't think i'm going to keep these two together i don't feel like they need to be together. Um, I'm gonna put one of them on Wednesday because I want to overlay a quote box on it for our anniversary. I thought that'd be kind of sweet. Um, so even though it's foiled, I'm like kind of worried about overlaying a foiled uh, quote box on like on top of foil, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so a lot of these boxes are like, the boxes are kind of similar, not in a bad way, but it's just like, I don't know how to space them nicely. I'm gonna use this one here. And I'm gonna use the same method I used last week, which worked out well to just do the three sets of glitter headers. For a while I was trying to like, not do the glitter header thing. And I still might go back to that for some spreads, depending on which headers I wanna use. Um, but if you do this method, it does go into the date covers a little bit. So actually I should go through and wipe those out before I forget. Also, can we talk about how bad this Sunday number situation looks? Like what the heck was Erin Condren thinking? Look at that. Like with the words overlaying into the flag, like they definitely could have done that somehow better. Like I get that they probably, it probably only happens like once in the planner um, that the words overlay with the flag, but I feel like it looks really bad. Okay, so let us put, I guess I'm gonna keep the red with the full boxes and have those staggered upwards. And I think that looks good. And then I can lay in the rest of the glitter headers. Um, and then let me do the rest of the full boxes as well. So I am filming this on Saturday, so I haven't really lived through Labor Day weekend yet, but I think it's gonna be a pretty good weekend. The weather thus far, it's like what was supposed to be super rainy, but like thus far it's been nice, although it, like it might rain later. Um, and I have, I'm going to the mall later today with a friend and then we're gonna go out to dinner and Dan's gonna join us, which will be fun. And then tomorrow, Dan and I are doing our at home, starting our Harry Potter at home marathon, which I'm super excited for. Um, and what else? I don't know how to space these. I guess I'll do this here. And then Monday I'm going tubing, which is going to be really fun. You'll see that in my plans for this week since it's on to the next week. Um, but the, uh, we're going up to like, uh, Harper's Ferry, which is kind of like nearish, nearish to DC. Um, and we're going to do a tubing day, which I'm super excited for. And so, yeah, it should be a good holiday weekend, which is good because the next couple weeks at work are going to be crazy. I am not looking forward to it. Um, but 
it happens. It's been, it hasn't been a terrible summer at work, so um, I should just be grateful for that and suck it up and deal. Um, what happened last week? Nothing too exciting. Um, oh, I saw Crazy Rich Asians, which was so good. So I had read the book as well. Um, I feel like the movie was really fun. Like the book is really good and I feel like has a little bit more nuance. Like the movie's pretty cheesy, um, but the, but it was still, it was so fun. I really, really enjoyed the movie. So I'm really glad I saw it in the theaters and I went to like this theater. If you're in the DC area, there's the AMC in uh, courthouse, which is in Virginia, um, has, but it's up right, up right off the Metro line. Like literally it's like 50 feet from the Metro. Um, but the AMC there is one of those that has, um, like it has like really comfy and reclining chairs, which was so fun. I had never attended a theater like that. Like I really like the theater that's near our house, which, cause it has like wine and beer and stuff. But, um, this was like, this was easier to get to coming from downtown for work. So that was nice too. Um, and a lot of my friends don't, or like my coworkers didn't want to like come out to like the super suburbs where I live. So it definitely worked out. And so, yeah, I would definitely recommend that theater because it's like a 12 minute ride from downtown DC. So definitely a good option. Um, I did show Dan this kit and he liked it, but he goes, what is this Christmas? When he saw like the red and green, I was like, Dan, you are a strange person. Sorry, that was like a non sequitur. I was just thinking that like the red and the green together do look sort of Christmassy, but we're gonna go with it, whatever. So anyways, yeah, that was great. And then went out to dinner Thursday. Felt like it was a pretty social week. And then this weekend I have like two social activities. So I'm excited this coming week and the following next couple weekends, honestly, are kind of the only plans I really have booked are with Dan, so not too many social things going on which i am not mad about there's a group of my, a group of my girlfriends are going like the weekend before dan's birthday they're going to denver so they're all kind of like busy with that i um to visit another friend of ours that moved away and i'm like sad i'm not gonna be there but at the same time it really just wasn't a great time like it's right before dan's birthday and we're going to disney in october and so i just was not gonna do that trip I feel kind of bad that I'm missing it but um it is what it is so anyway so they're all busy with that and then another one of my friends left to go be on a campaign for a couple months so might be a quiet fall which I am not mad about because this is also like the time of year where I like extremely try to protect my weekend time because football is starting this week which I'm so excited about um I'm not that hopeful hopeful for the bills but you never know, you know, um, rookie quarterback, could, we'll see. Um, but I am just excited. I'm doing the first time in a lot of years that I'm doing a fantasy football league. So that'll be super fun. And I'm doing it with Dan and some of his friends that I also know. Um, so I am excited. I had a pretty good draft. Uh, I got to draft third and I ended up with Johnson, which I think everybody who drafted third probably took him or for net or whatever his name is um so anyways i'm hoping hoping it's a pretty good i just want to beat dan let's be real that's that's the most important thing um so i can come in second or i can come in after all his other friends as long as i come ahead of dan um i'm kidding but um so that was last week i guess too so anyways i'm excited for fall i'm just so ready i'm just such so basic and i I haven't had a pumpkin spice latte yet. They came out this week, but it's too early. Honestly, I really have been enjoying iced coffee lately too. So um, I might not be switching over to anything pumpkin spice. I can't have a full pumpkin spice latte. It's like way too much sugar, but I typically get like a misto or something and then put some, just like a pump or two of pumpkin spice in it. So we have these gorgeous date covers that also have the twinkle light effect. She does have numbers here, but they feel kind of big. I'm like worried they're gonna like go into the pretty foiled effect. So I pulled out these. These are little mini pumpkins from Simply Watercolor Co. They were like a $2 Tuesday. So I'm gonna see how these look like just kind of next to that. And then like kind of squish it up next to the word so that the foil effect was still there. We're gonna go with that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay these down and then I will come back. Okay, so we cut into the September a little bit there, but 
I think it's okay. And then for this top corner, she actually has some foiled flags that come with the kit. I did white it out on the other side. I always just think it looks weird with the date cover. I know that's like, um, I know other people like Kiara and Viv have strong opinions about that, but um, I like to white it out. So let's get this foiled flag down because it's so cute. I really like the foil. Um, I feel like the Sticky Essentials kit is super foiled in like a really great way. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and then do I have, wait, what did I do? Where are my full boxes? Oh, okay. So I saved one. I didn't like intentionally save one for the top corner. So I'm glad that um, this is, I feel like this is a good one because it looks really different from that one. So like I just kind of forgot that one of these had to go up here without a quote. Okay, that looks crooked, but good. So um, in the sidebar, so I tried to look through my Simply Gilded collection and I honestly didn't find a ton that matched. I feel like I have some coming in the fall pre-sale that'll look really good, but I pulled out either this brown, which I feel like is too brown, or this tan one, which honestly isn't great either. Um, maybe I'll just use a skinny little tan one up here just to have some sort of Simply Gilded. I don't know why I feel compelled to have Simply Gilded. I guess I could skip it. Um, we'll do one and I'll just wipe this line out here. Um, maybe I'll, yeah. I'll do this. I also have the white bow, but that seems like, should I just do the white bow? Guys, I don't really like that tan. I thought the pink was too pink because this is a really pale, peachy color. Um, it's not really, I wouldn't describe it as a pink. We could do, so we do have these um, washies here that they already have foil on them, but I could like take one of these and put a, the bow over it. I've been doing that in some of my spreads lately. Let's give that a go. Let's see what that looks like. I could just kind of like rest it in the middle like that for something different. What does that look like? Oops. Um, I don't know. Vote down below. Let me know. Janky or not janky. <laughs> um, I can't decide. Oh God. I'm destroying things off camera. So anyway, yeah, it'll probably be a pretty busy week at work. And because of that, I actually, so last week I was having, I had a busy, I knew I was gonna have a busy Tuesday at work and I wasn't gonna be able to get out on time. Um, so, or early really, if I wanna go to yoga after work, um, if I wanna go to the six o'clock class, I have to leave work earlier than um, I'm probably supposed to. I don't know about that guys. We'll leave it, we're trying something new. Um, so anyways, I, so I actually made it to a 6 a.m. yoga class. Guys, I don't, like, I, I, I cannot even tell you what a bad, like, I'm a terrible sleeper, I'm terrible at falling asleep, um, I am just, I'm gonna do one of these next, because I think I wanna do the green, I do find the red a little too red in, like, this form, so I think, but I wanna do green, but I wanna separate it from the habit tracker, so I think I'll do one of these pretty ones with the print in the background next, and then I'll do the, um, full box or the weekly ombre. Um, so anyway, so I actually made it. I could not believe it. I was so proud of myself. Um, and it honestly, it was so nice having it done and not having to like worry about like getting out of work on time and like squeezing it in during lunch or whatever. Um, my ideal would be that I could work out in the morning and then leave work early if I was done. I just like kind of work, I work, my boss is kind of like annoyingly old school and that she really likes everybody to be in the office for a certain amount of time, like regardless of how much work you've gotten done, um, which I kind of find very antiquated um, to be honest, but you know, it's what I work, it's, it's, the, it's what I work in, so I have to deal with it. Um, I might do just a to-do header since I'm not gonna use these otherwise. And I like this peachy color. That's crooked. Why is everything so crooked, the spread? Um, all my spreads really, but so anyways, so my ideal would be to like work out in the morning and then like if I'm done with my work, I could like leave at like 5.30 and then like have like a full night. Cause the problem is obviously when you work out 
that early, I really have to go to bed early. Like I am, I am not really a morning person at all. Like I'm definitely, I'm more of a morning person at, than Dan, which is how I have like the three to morning duty. He is like a true, true night owl. I'm not, I'm like, like my ideal sleep schedule is probably something like 1230 to 830, something like that. That's, you know, which is like not really a true night owl, but definitely not like a morning person. But um, it was really nice having it done before work. So I think I'm gonna try and do that a couple times this week. Um, but yeah, I have to, I have to go to bed like a lot earlier than <laughs> I personally want to. Um, so, but yeah, we'll make it work. Um, it's, I think it's worth it to be able to make sure I'm going to have my workouts done when work is so busy. What is crooked here? I feel like something is not working well at all. I guess it's just everything. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm going to try and do that a couple times this week. There's a 6 a.m. class, um, which is like yoga sculpt, which is kind of like yoga with weights. And they do like kind of almost, um, if you've ever been to like bar, B-A-R-R-E, it's like they do like a lot of little like lightweight stuff with your arms. Um, and then you do start with yoga flow. So I, I like the sculpt class. I don't like doing it every day though, because I find it to be a little much. Um, and they have like a cardio burst section in the middle. Um, so I like doing that. So that one's at six, the regular yoga, which is just like a vinyasa flow class or C2 that is at, uh, 5:45, So it's even earlier, but I think I could make it at that point. It's like, what's 15 minutes less of sleep, you know, like when you're already getting up at the butt crack of dawn, like who cares? So, okay. I think that looks pretty good so shiny i love it okay now i think we're ready to move on to the actual plans so as mentioned monday is labor day i do get the day off so i'm gonna go ahead and just put that up top at the beginning of the day just to mark that and i pulled out my um transparent holidays from Rose Colored Days. Let me find the edge here. Okay, so that just kind of layers over really nicely and looks cute. And then that day is like pretty much all day um, the tubing trip. I don't think I'm gonna go get coffee beforehand. I think I'll just have one in the, like from home. I was debating, but um, I think I should have a hearty breakfast because we're just gonna kind of snack our way through lunch. So for an all day tubing trip, how do you even mark that down? I was kind of thinking about this. Um, I think I will take a, some sort of half box here, kind of towards the bottom. And I think I'm going to take just like a car icon was my thought, because it is like an hour's drive to get there. Um, and it's kind of like an all day trip. I didn't really think, I didn't really have anything else that I thought would work well. Let me find, a, do I have a car? I didn't even think about this. Oh, here it is, the little car. And I'll put that at the top to kind of mark down doing all day. And then I think afterwards we are gonna like stop for food on the way back. So um, I'll take a flag for that. And we do have, we have a fork and knife in the kit. Maybe I'll pull out some foil though. Just grabbed a little fork and knife in gold from Rose Colored Days. Put that there. Um, and then otherwise that night I'm probably gonna edit. So for editing, I did grab um, one of these from Scribble Prince Co. I'm just obsessed with these. I might have to buy more before this colorway goes away. These are colors, I just tend to use a little bit darker and more muted colors I find. Um, so these colors are great. And then I can put in whatever else is going on that night. So that is Monday. And then on to Tuesday. Tuesday, I am going to try to go to um, a, as Dan and I call it, a BCOD, which stands for butt crack of dawn, a BCOD yoga class um, and see how that goes. So I'm going to take a half box right at the top there. Why is everything so crooked? Guys, uh, whatever. Um, and for that, what did I pull out? I don't think I'm going to use my Fox and Pip or Virgo and Paper Girls this week. I don't feel like either of them quite match the spread. So I'm going to take a, uh, I have other ones. I think I'm going to take this little workout flag from Simply Watercolor Co. 
my collab sheet with her, this beigey color matches the spread really well, so that'll be perfect. And let me move this down a little. Give it a little more breathing room. And then on Tuesday, I do also want to mark down that I'm going to upload a video. And for my Clever Owl Crafts uh, stickers this week, I pulled out this Miss Kitty sheet. Um, and I thought this like pinky color went really, really well. I'm gonna layer that over. Maybe I'll use a green little thing for the week. Everything looks so crooked, guys. It is driving me effing insane. Oh my gosh, okay. Use that to mark my video, try to de-crookify my stickers. Okay, there's hope for me yet. And then that's really it for Tuesday. I don't know what I'm gonna do Tuesday night. I might have to work late. Um, Cause it like, we have obviously Monday off. So there might be a lot to get done on Tuesday. Not sure. So I'm gonna leave that blank. And then on to Wednesday. Wednesday is our wedding anniversary. And I don't know how to mark that down. I think I will take, I think I'll take a quarter box at the top here. And I think I'm gonna take a Clever Gal Crafts, one of these hearts, I'll take the same colorway and use that to mark down our wedding anniversary. Um, we're not really gonna do anything special. Dan has a big meeting at work that day and we're both, I don't know, we're not particularly like uberly sappy people. Um, but I think that's nice. And then a couple other reminders. Well, I'm really gonna put in my workout. So I do wanna go um, for a run at lunch. So I think I'll take a half box here. And then for the run, I'm gonna take a little running icon from this sheet, my collab sheet, and then I just work out sticker at the top. I'm hoping it'll be good weather to run outside. If not, then maybe I'll either run at the gym or we'll see. Actually, I should put this, well, it looks funny with them both being there. Okay, we'll do this for running. And then I do wanna mark down that it's also my friend's birthday. It's so, so funny, she always wishes me happy birthday cause like she remembers cause it's also her birthday. And I always feel really bad that she like wishes me happy anniversary before like I send the text to for her for her birthday. Um, I think I'll take at the bottom of the day, I'm gonna take this little quarter box, cute little sticker for her birthday. I'll just put it all the way at the bottom. And we got with this sticker or with this kit, it came with a pre-sale freebie, which is so cute. It has little balloons. So I'll use that for her birthday. And then, oh, I also need to mark down a reminder that I need to do my fantasy lineup. So for that, I pulled out these stickers from the Giving Girl. I thought these like peachy ones, I thought they would go really nice. I included these in a recent haul as a reminder. Yeah, I think the confetti looks really pretty with this spread. And I can, well, like, should I try to, maybe I'll move this, cause I might squeeze one other thing in here, whatever I'm doing that night. Um, but I do need to work on my fantasy lineup. Also, this is really bothering me. So I think I'm gonna lift this up and I have a different idea that I just saw in my stickers. Oh, I lifted like all the ink and foil up. So let me get a new piece of washi. And then I'm gonna take one of these also from The Giving Girl. Um, I just remembered these off to the side. These have like little, they're like little bow kind of strips. And I thought this looked really cute. Oh yeah, that's way cuter. I like it a lot. Look how cute. And it has like the confetti foil on it. Also crooked, but apparently that's the theme of the spread. Oh no, okay. We're just gonna let it be. Okay, and that's it for Wednesday. On to Thursday. Thursday, I'm gonna try to go to yoga again, first thing in the morning. What do we have on the day before? Um, okay, we can take a printed half box for that. And I think for yoga, I'll just use another one of these flags since I used it for the last yoga class. And that looks cute. Use that for yoga. And then that day we also have a cleaning appointment. So for that, I might take, oh, what do we wanna use? 
And for the cleaning appointment, we have a super cute little um, foiled uh, cleaning bottle here. And I think I'll take a appointment label for that. And I think I'm going to switch this to this side. I just like to have things look kind of alternating and balanced. It was so funny at the Scribble Prince Co. party. I was planning with Denise from Paper and Milk um, for the challenge. And we both had a moment where we were like, oh, just switch that icon. Like we knew immediately that you had to alternate. Like it was such a like funny, like, I don't know, strange planner girl thing to be aware of um and then that day i want to mark down that football is starting that night so i forget who's playing that night it's not the bills but um i thought it'd be fun to mark it down because i'm sure i'll just like want to sit and watch some football so i'm gonna take a movie marquee so i finally got one of these books that um, a lot of people have talked about Andrea, I think, first introduced them to the community. Um, but you can use it. It's like basically sticker paper. I'll link it down below from Amazon. But it's like sticker paper so you can use it to save any stickers that you want from leftovers. For the most part, I give my leftovers away, but there are a few stickers from certain shops that I really like, like the Scribble Prince Co. movie marquees, the um, Two Little Bees Instagram and laptop stickers, all the munchkins from the SPC samplers, flight trackers, look at all these munchkins, um, habit trackers from Scribble Prince Co., like cute script stickers. What else do I have in here? Um, like cute little cutout icons, and then I'm gonna save all of these because they're going away. The Scribble Prince Co. YouTuber sticker. So, anyways, um, so you get a lot. Oh yeah, like functional. Anything I also pull up. Sometimes when I like fix my spreads, I pull up stickers and I don't have anywhere to put them, so I can put them in here too. So, anyways, I think this will be really useful. I'll link it down below. It's really cheap. Um, I this by the way, I thought this was gonna be more gold. It's definitely yellow, which is a bummer. So I would get like you can just search for the same shop and you'll get different. Um, You'll find different ones. So anyway, I'm thinking I'm gonna take a movie marquee for football starting because I just think it's kind of fun um, way to mark it down. And I realized I've been hoarding all these movie marquees. So do I like the yellow? I feel like the yellow is the, the gold and yellow or the gold stars I think is a little too harsh. So I think I'm gonna take this maroon one. Yeah, that's cute. Oh yeah, because this one I think is from Kirsten's wedding kit. So it has wood grain stars. I don't know how I just recognized that this was Kirsten's wedding kit, but Kirsten's wedding kit was my anniversary kit last, like the last two years, I think. Um, so I'm like sad that it's not coming, that I couldn't do it. But this was like pretty close to the Kirsten wedding vibe, honestly. Like this kit has like the wood grain and the olive and the red. So keeping, keeping the tradition alive, guys. Um, so we'll go with that. And then I don't know, I'll probably have to edit that night, but I'm gonna leave that blank for now. Um, and then on to Friday, Friday morning, I definitely wanna start it out with a little Starbucks treat. Um, and I think for that, I'm gonna use one of these stickers I haven't used yet from Scribble Prince Co. that have really cute, they like have two bows for every color and you have either gold or silver in the background. I'm gonna use a gold one. Again, it's in this like fall colorway, which I am just so here for. Um, so I'm gonna take that to mark down Starbucks to start my Friday. And then what else do I have on Friday? Oh, I want to mark down that it's payday. We have a cute payday script on this little freebie sampler. So I think I'll layer that over top of maybe just some washi from the kit. Very much into this foiled washi, clearly. Actually, maybe I'll put that at the top of the day. I feel like it looks kind of strange to have a bar going straight across the middle. And I didn't want to put it down here because it would look like the day before. Planner girl logic, guys. So payday up here. Cute. And then I'll put the Starbucks there. And then what else did I want to mark down on Friday? Oh, I want to upload a video. So I'm going to take a another. Oh, that's two greens right in a row. Crap. Um, we'll fix this one. I'm going to get out the undo. It's worth it to me. I've been avoiding getting it out for this entire spread, but I want to save that really cute little cleaning icon. In case you're new here, undo is like this like substance that allows you to just pop up stickers just like that and reuse the sticker still. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and change out that color that I had there. 
Okay, I went ahead and switched out for a flag, which I thought looked pretty cute. And then it's not like two bars right in a row. Um, and then back to Friday, Friday night, I think I'm gonna try to go to yoga. Um, I really, I went to yoga this Friday. Um, even like before we went to Wegmans, since I was working from home, I was able to do that. Um, and the six o'clock instructor, I loved her. She was so good. So it'll probably be hard to make her class, but I'm going to try, we'll see. Um, it like if I'm coming from the office, we'll see. Like Friday, people don't mind as much if you sneak out a little early um, and hopefully like it, by Friday, a lot of the work should be done. Um, I might not be able to make this, but we're gonna put it in because her class was so good. She has like great, she has like a really eclectic taste in music for a yoga instructor, I feel like. Like she, it was all like classic rock, which, but she picked stuff that really worked for a yoga class. It wasn't just like, you know, like rocking out to like, I don't know like the doors when it wasn't appropriate, but she, but she like really, like, I don't know, she planned it really well. I just really, really enjoyed it clearly. So I'm gonna take a, another workout flag from this uh, collab sheet. Try to straighten this out to mark down yoga. Um, and she like, it was a small class too. And um, she did a lot of adjustments. Yeah, she was really good. I was skeptical when I got there because she looked like she was like 22, not gonna lie. But um, she did a really, really great job. I shouldn't have been so skeptical. So anyways, that is my Friday, super exciting Friday night. I think we'll probably like stay in and hang out. Um, and then on to Saturday. Saturday during the day, I do want to plan and film. So for that, I'm gonna take, oh, that's like green and green right there. Um, I've been like really avoiding the red color if you can't tell. I think I'll take, uh, I guess I'll take this peachy color. And then I grabbed these transparent tip stickers from Scribble Prints Co. I really like her gold tone. I feel like it goes well with the gold of this kit. The rose colored days one felt a little brassy for this kit. So I've been trying to avoid using it, not gonna lie. And so for planning and filming, oh, I can just take this YouTube sticker. I think is really cute and I like how it's transparent so it kind of looks like it blends in to this flag which is super cute um and then I'm not honestly not sure what else I'm gonna do on Saturday I do want to mark down that it's Viv's birthday so for Viv's birthday ooh, we gotta grab something fun so for Viv's birthday I'm gonna take a glitterly glitterly glittery half box here or quarter box rather at the bottom of the day and I'm gonna take a happy birthday this is in the kind of champagne foil uh, but I liked this a little better to go with this kit and I'm gonna take that there um, at the bottom uh, I kind of want to move it I think I'm gonna put this up here oh then we're back to the green and green problem huh what's going on um, so what am I doing here? Maybe I'll take it here. Put this back where it was. Cause my problem is that I want to get a half box in here and then a half box in here. So, um, I think I'm going to take a half box there to mark down. I think I should go to yoga that day. I know I won't want to do it. Oh, well maybe I'll do it Sunday before I get groceries. Oh, okay. Now we're back to this. <laughs> um, we can put this up here. And then that night, I'm gonna uh, go on a date night with my husband. We're not quite sure what we're doing yet, but I'm gonna have a nice night out to dinner since we have not done that in a little bit. And I mean, we go out all the time, let's be real, but I just mean like in a formal date night capacity. Um, we have not done it in a while. So for date night, what do I wanna mark down? I think for date night, I'll use one of these cute little scripts from Simply Watercolor Co. at the top and to mark that down and then i'll leave that space blank for whatever comes else comes up that day and then on to sunday sunday it's the bills first game of the season i'm so excited um and for that i'll take a box up here actually i'll take it in the afternoon because i have a couple of things i want to get done that morning before i settle in for like a day of football 
And for football, I have my super fun um, foiled footballs from Magic Prince Co. I will def you'll definitely be seeing a lot of those this season. Um, if you're also a football fan, um, I have a discount code for her shop. So I might have to pick them up in rose gold too because I don't have any rose gold footballs, only the gold. So put that right at the top of the day. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. Um, and so before I settle in for a day of hopefully watching the Bills be triumphant, I think I will try to uh, get in a workout that morning. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, so I already have like three yoga classes that weekend. I probably should go for a run, but uh, that feels hard. Um, I'll do something. I'm gonna put in a little quarter box. Let me take a different color quarter box. Oh, we have all of these that I haven't. Oh, I did use them. Okay, I'll take a um, peachy glittery quarter box up here. And I'm gonna just take a generic, maybe a kettlebell sticker. Maybe I'll do something at home, I don't know. Um, I'll do something. And so put that there um, and maybe I'll take a workout script at the top for that. And then I do need to go get groceries. So I'm gonna take a flag for that. It's a lot of glitter all in one area. It's gonna be a lot of green in a second. Um, and I'm gonna take a little uh, shopping cart also from Magic Prince Co. And then I do wanna upload a video that day. So I'm gonna squeeze that in. Looks a little squished, but we're gonna go with it. And then I do wanna mark down, honestly, I need to do meal prep and laundry that day. Uh, maybe I should be trying to do laundry earlier in the weekend, um, but maybe I'll put in meal prep. So for meal prep, oh, I have this cute flag from the same collab sheet with Simply Watercolor Co. And it says meal prep on it. So I'm just gonna take that to mark down prepping my meals. And I think that's pretty much it for the spread. So like I said, um, I'm not gonna go too crazy with the overlays this week because all of these full boxes in the Sticky Essentials kit are already foiled, which is amazing. I did pull out both of these. Oh no, guys, I forgot to restart my camera. I went ahead and added, I have these overlays from Simply Watercolor Co. And this one says the fall in love. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but I went ahead and added that on Wednesday. Um, and I feel like that looks really pretty. And then I was just adding a couple of these corners from Scribble Prints Co. And I added some to the uh, Thursday full box, which is probably gonna be hard to see on camera. And then um, I'm taking these kind of little confetti bubbly ones and adding that to Tuesday. And that'll be pretty much it for this spread. I didn't wanna add any other really overlays cause you do kind of like, not see as much of the foil underneath once you do an overlay and these sticky essentials boxes had so much gorgeous foil that I wanted to let them stand. So that is it for this spread. Let me show you what we have left. So obviously I didn't use the headers or really little things. Here I'll definitely pull in some deco as uh, the spread fills in. Like if I don't have anything else on Monday night, I can put some deco there or whatever. Um, then I didn't use these. I kind of want to cut these out and save them. <laughs> the brown ones um, for a fall spread. And then we have a bunch of quarter boxes, lots of functional stuff. Her kits are pretty um, functional item heavy. Used a lot of the washi because it was so pretty. Didn't use much of this sheet. And then of course used up the full boxes and we have these really pretty full box heart checklists left as well. So gorgeous, gorgeous spread. I am obsessed with this to kick off my like very many fall spreads. So get ready. There will be a lot. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to see all of the fall spreads I have coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.